Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics, and in this video, I'll be talking about all the new features and everything you need to know about the newly announced Apple iPhone 5. Now, uh, in this video, I'll be going over all the features uh, and maybe do a little comparison between uh, some higher end Android phones. Uh, so, yeah. So, the iPhone 5 was just announced by Apple, and let's talk about the design. Now, first and foremost, people will notice the design. The general shape is quite similar to the iPhone 4 and 4S uh, with its metal band and flat front and flat back. Now, the biggest noticeable features are the increased display size uh, and aluminum and glass back. Now, the iPhone 5 comes with a widescreen 4-inch retina display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 with with a pixel density of, th of 326 ppi. Now this makes the iPhone the same width as the 4S, only taller and longer uh, depending on which orientation you look at. Uh, so this is going to be a great display, especially since it's retina display and it can definitely compete with uh, other Android phones with this bigger display. Now the display uh, is a 44% more color saturation uh, than the previous generations of the iPhone and the features are all integrated into a touch technology and this means that the iPhone 5 display and touch sense have been united once for all and this makes the iPhone 5 display the most accurate and most advanced display that we've ever seen and that's with any Samsung phones, any Windows phones, the iPhone is the most advanced display. Now the hardware. Following the older a tradition of thinner and lighter, the iPhone 5 weighs in only at 112 grams and if you ask me that's really good and it's 20% lighter than the iPhone 4S which is the thinnest smartphone to date with a depth of just 7.6 millimeters. Now instead of glass and and glass only on the back like the iPhone 4 and 4S, the iPhone 5's backplate is two-toned. So it is just exactly like the leak uh, that we saw earlier. Uh, so there is a glass at the very top and bottom, and other than that, it's all metal. Now this is a welcome design feature, as the weak non-Gorilla glass for the 4 and 4S was a rather serious problem, since if you drop your phone, boom, your phone's gone and it's automatically cracked. Now, if we take a look at the internals, uh, you know that the new iPad 3 is powered by an A5X chip, but the iPhone 5 is powered by a very new A6 processor, which is two times faster than A5, uh, so you can rest assured that everything loads quicker uh, and apps load faster, uh, and yeah, so that's a very great feature. And the device's speakers have shrunk down 20%, and the earpiece now supports noise cancellation, and there's three microphones that you can find on the device, so you'll have those really clear calls, uh, you won't have that much background noise since there's, no, since there's noise cancellation mics. Now let's talk about the wireless features. Now another big feature is the support for 4G LTE. Earlier this year, I've, the iPhone 4S received an update to change 3G to 4G in the status bar with AT&T, but now this is the real 4G LTE. Uh, that's what I'm talking about because these speeds are really, really fast. So it's basically, if you don't know what 4G is, now this is the real 4G LTE. So it's basically the speed of your Wi-Fi network, but really fast. Uh, but it's in a 3G type of form, so it's uh, on the go, and everywhere on the go. Uh, so yeah, that's a really great feature. Now Wi-Fi also does support two new bands, uh, which is 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Uh, so what does that mean from, for the average Joe? Well, if you have a sporting Wi-Fi router at home, uh, then you can rest assured there will be no drop signals and you'll have very good quality speeds. Now with the camera, the optics have also received a huge uh, enhancement which is really good. You can see that it's 8 megapixels now. It was last year but they added a few features to make it thinner. Uh, the front facing camera resolution has been increased to 720p HD VGA on previous phones. Uh, so the, here comes the fun part about the camera. The iPhone 5 comes with a panorama mode so you can capture wide landscapes with ease uh, and save the images at a whopping 28 megapixel resolution. So if you think of it, the iPhone 5 has an 8 megapixel camera, but it will save the image at 28 megapixels. Now the front facing camera has also received a bump. It's now 720H, 720p HD as well. Now let's talk about the battery. The battery has also been improved, so you'll get a solid 8 hours uh, of battery life on LTE, which is quite uh, honestly steamrolls the competition out of water, which is really good. And uh, you can and it basically improved upon the iPhone 4S battery. Now the dock connector, that's a new feature. 
Now the iPhone 5 is also featured with a new smaller dock connector which, US, which is USB 3 compatible making it 10 times faster than the USB 2.0 and the new dock connector has been named Lightning which quite frankly uh, has very fast speeds to offer so for example when, when you're syncing everything in iTunes it'll be lightning fast, it'll be fast probably like uh, a minute or so so that will be really good. And the major features of the Lightning Dock Connector are that it's 80% smaller than previous 30-pin uh, connector, it has an adaptive interface, and much more. Now the pricing. Now the pricing is basically the same, uh, so 16GB, 32GB, 64GB models uh, for $199, $299, and $399 with a two-year contract from AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint. And the iPhone 5 will be able and now the iPhone 5 will be available in black and white. And the new iPhone, now the new iPhone 5 pre-orders go available on September 14th. So it's not today, but it's September 14th. And it will ship on September 21st. And it will be available in the following countries. Uh, United States, Canada, UK, France, Germany, Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore. And the 28th of September, 100 more countries will be able to get the iPhone 5 around the globe. So once again, guys, this is Apple Critics. Stay tuned for more videos on the iPhone 5, including the unboxing, uh, the official hands-on, much more. Uh, I'll also have my hands-on of all the new Apple products, so this is the place to be. Once again, it's Apple Critics, so please be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash AppleCritics. Like my Facebook fan page. It will be linked down in the description down below, and it does help me out. Like this video as it also does help me out. And like this video as it helps me produce more videos. And like this video as it helps me produce more videos. And once again, thanks for watching.